So I've just come from the courts. It was a really amazing experience, very different from the last one. The last judge said clearly that he couldn't deal on the issues. He would only deal with points of law regarding the land. And this one said that clearly the previous judge couldn't think outside of the box. The Master of the Rolls raised the Magna Carta first. Essentially he agreed that Magna Carta 1297, at least four parts of it, are still in statute. They are still the law of the land. There is a massive breach of trust you know, that is unlawful. And what the City of London is trying to do is to use minor statutes to stop us or negate us being able to get remedy under the law. It's remedy that's important. Paul Random Randall Jolliffe made the point that the Magna Carta, section 29 of which, the master of the rolls who's sort of in charge of all those documents nominally, you know, confirmed that that piece of law still applies. And that piece of law is about the, the right to remedy. And that's, that's the crucial difference between the way protest has been treated as this sort of tokenistic right that, you know, as long as people are allowed to go and say something, they will say, oh, we're a democracy. The idea that we have in law since the Magna Carta, the idea that we have a right to remedy, not just to protest, is a very, those are two very important things to bring together to actually make sense of, of you know, why there is a right to protest. And it said, you know, it said uh, protests on the highway are, must be allowed in principle because otherwise where can you protest? But they need to be reasonably transient in time and space. The question is what is reasonable? You know, if you're, if you're taking on the global economy for very, very good reasons, you know, in, in ways that relate to all our human rights, then it's entirely reasonable that you take quite a long time to, to go about that process because that, the kind of change that we're seeking doesn't come about overnight and they at least seem interested in engaging with that question. Not the military! Not the military! Corporate profits! Corporate profits! Or the rich! Or the rich! But the fact that this is a worldwide movement um, it's been acknowledged by parties. We, we, we're in contact continually with people in America, um, in Syria, in Egypt. Because the fact that this keeps on occurring shows the pressing social need and the fact that we've not sought remedy. So we, we must continue and uh, thank you very much. Yeah. The points that uh, we took on behalf of uh, uh, our clients and, and TAM is concerned and the, the, the majority of the, the, those that occupy uh, was that the judge below in the, in the lower court was far too strict and what we wanted was a bit of flexibility to recognise the importance of the work the client has been doing. As ever, Anonymous has been a separate camp. What we always said, we support Occupy LSX, but we're not part of Occupy London Stock Exchange. We've always been separate, we've got our own flag, we've got our own signs, we've got our own information area, our own kitchen, our own supplies, our own finances even. And then when the process servers came down on for the corporation, they only served notices on tents on the highway. We asked the process servers where's our notices because we're on the church land and they said we don't have any notices for you because you are on the church's land. The Corporation of London was rather sneakily trying to get our area snuck into the, um, the main case for Area 1. They thought we'd roll over and be part of Occupy exactly. uh, in the eviction but we've said right from day one we are not part of Occupy, we are Anonymous UK, we have our own agenda. They can't come at us until they serve us papers to say That's go. Right. Nice to see everybody here, another 10 days. Are <laughs> you happy or not happy? Uh, yeah, obviously happy. Yeah, another 10 more days. How do you feel about another week? Good and bad. Mm, I bet. Good, because they've got to think about it. But bad because I've got a good team with certain people on the camp. 
Do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> so good and bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely. Um, now I've been staying there now. Is it four months? Three months? Four months? Um, I'm feeling tired. Yeah. You know, but nevertheless, this is a, as much of an endurance test for us to see how long we're able to sustain our energy in order to bring about change because that's the only thing that's going to bring about it. I would always be an advocate of people coming and representing themselves as opposed to relying on other people to represent for you because you might disagree on some fundamental points. But come, come down to Occupy, find out what they are and we can work with them. There's no point turning my back on now and when, if, if good comes out of it, I was there, I want to be there. If that makes sense. Yes. And what is the good that could come out of this? A change for all mankind.